VAD or a ventricular assist device is a pump that gets installed in a patient uh, to help their heart pump blood forward. It's necessary when the heart itself is so weak that it isn't circulating blood. A VAD is a pump that has a portion that draws blood out of the heart, and then the pump will push that blood up through a second connection that is in the main artery coming out of the heart. And by doing so, it's essentially creating a parallel pathway for blood flow, one that is mechanically performed so that it can offload the work of the heart to make it easier and uh, more effective. Patients with congestive heart failure that is so advanced that medicines alone are not sufficient to help them need to consider advanced heart failure therapies. These include durable VADs and plantable ventricular assist devices, as well as heart transplant. When considering patients for ventricular assist device support, there are two sort of groups of considerations. One is, is a patient sick enough for a ventricular assist device? And on the other hand, will they do well with one? Will it help them sufficiently? We wanna make sure that patients are not too sick to undergo a, a major operation. And so the timing of their consideration for a ventricular assist device is important. After the initial operation for implanting the VAD, patients will be in the hospital for about two weeks. Some patients will need time in a rehab center, inpatient rehab center afterwards. Once they get home, it's a matter of getting back to their old routines. And it takes time. Patients have to rehab after a major operation like that. But fast forward three months, even some, for some folks, even one month, they are up and around. They're back to being active. Many folks who are younger, who are still working, are back at work. And so people get the opportunity to do all the things that they wanted to do, which their heart failure uh, was in the way of. Oftentimes, patients, when they first hear about a ventricular assist device, their gut reaction is, that sounds strange, not for me. And that's, again, very understandable. However, as they learn what the technology is, as they speak to a patient who is on a ventricular assist device, it is amazing how quickly they understand that this is something that will help them, that changes their day-to-day -day somewhat, but is not that complex. It is not something that is going to negatively impact them uh, long term, it in fact helps them and improves their quality of life and allows them to engage in the life that they uh, were wanting to live and the, do the things that, that, that still remain that they want to achieve in their life. For many patients, these ventricular assist devices are a bridge to, to survive long enough for a transplant. And so we're looking at them staying on support for, for one to three years, but there are a large number of patients who receive a ventricular assist device who are not a transplant candidate. They receive it as what we term a destination therapy, meaning this is their final therapy for their heart failure. And those patients have been shown to have improved quality of life, improved quantity of life, um, and can survive well beyond 10 years, depending on their situation. Ventricular assist devices are exciting to me because they are the intersection between medicine and technology. And technology, as with every aspect of our lives, is advancing exponentially every year. When it comes to ventricular assist devices, they allow us to help patients in ways that were unfathomable just a couple decades ago.